Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to learn how to write an opinion essay. This is the first lesson out of four lessons. In this lesson, we're going to learn about introductory paragraph. So let's get started. This is an essay outline. The first is the introductory paragraph. Here, we're going to talk about the hook, the attention grabber, the background, and the thesis statement. Then we have body paragraphs, usually three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. Now let's take a look at my example essay. You can see I wrote the title at the top, Technology and Global Warming, and then I have indents on three paragraphs. The first paragraph is the one that we're going to focus on this lesson. And it reads, who doesn't possess a cell phone nowadays? In fact, almost everybody has some sort of machine at hand, be it computers, cars, or even washing machines. But although machinery was devised to benefit mankind, it has also brought along the destruction of our environment. So we're going to take a look at the parts of introduction. Number one is your hook, your attention grabber. Interesting sentence about the topic. So the topic is who or what you're writing about. Number two is background. It explains the topic sentence with facts, examples, or reasons. Number three is a statement. It is the main idea about the topic, usually with three reasons or more. So what is a topic sentence? It is a sentence that introduces a paragraph by presenting the one topic that will be the focus of that paragraph. The purpose of a topic sentence is the perspective that you are giving to the topic of the essay. It should answer how and why the topic is significant. So going back to the parts of introduction, we're going to focus on background information about the topic. These are facts, opinions, historical fact, numbers, etc. So background information. Its sole purpose is to help the reader understand what you, the writer, will be discussing in your essay and create a flow between the hook and the thesis statement. They could be opinions, definitions, historical general facts, trends, or changes. This is an example of a historical fact. Catherine the Great died of a stroke while sitting on her toilet. An example of a definition is a healthy lifestyle is one which helps to keep and improve people's health and well-being. Now, let's take a look at the last part of your introduction paragraph, and that is the core of your essay. That's the thesis statement. It is the main idea about the topic, given three reasons or more. Let's analyze what a thesis statement is. It is your main idea about the topic, adding one, two, three, four, five reasons, as many as you like. It is made up of the topic, the topic is the general subject of the essay, the controlling idea, that's your opinion, belief, view, feeling about the topic, and subtopics, the areas you will focus on to support your idea. It will answer the question of the prompt given in just one sentence. Please avoid writing, uh, I believe, in my opinion, I think, in my view, etc. So we have some examples. What is the best country in the world? Write a five paragraph essay answering this question. Introduction, three bodies, three body paragraphs, and a conclusion. So this would be your thesis statement. Your answer to the question given by your teacher. The best country in the world is Canada because it is diverse, beautiful, and safe. And here we have three 
reasons. So, diverse, beautiful, and safe. Later on, you will prove this in your essay. So, let's take a look at another example of a thesis statement. What is the evidence of global warming? Write a three-paragraph essay answering this question. So, that will be your introduction, your body, and your conclusion. So, three paragraphs. Your answer to the question would be your thesis statement. So, 2009 was the 19th consecutive year in which there was a net loss of ice from glaciers worldwide. And we have one reason, right? So that's your body paragraph. And that will be what you're going to explain in your body paragraph. We'll take a look at that part of the essay in our next video. So now let's do some exercise. Complete the thesis. Stress in the workplace has led to... Give three subtopics. Number two. Women generally live longer than men as a result of... And then give one subtopic. Number three. Healthy lifestyles require individuals to... Give three subtopics. Now that you have your answers ready, these are some examples. Stress in the workplace has led to serious physical, psychological, and emotional problems for employees. Number two, women generally live longer than men as a result of their better resistance to stress. Number three, healthy lifestyles require individuals to get enough sleep, eat nutritiously, and exercise regularly. So on our next video we're going to take a look at body paragraphs as I told you before. Topic sentence, detailed sentences, and conclusion sentence. At university level you usually would need three body paragraphs. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you have any questions you can post your question under the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do. If you like the lesson, hit on the like button and you may share the lesson with your friends or your classmates. Until next time and see you on the next video lesson on how to write an opinion essay. Take care. Bye-bye.